Birchwell. How's it going, sir? Um, good afternoon, and uh, thank you all for coming. Um, I'm Pastor Birchwell, and uh, I'm giving you a, a brief overview of the lockout chunk and uh, some of the associated systems. Um, lockout chunk aboard the Virginia class submarine serves two purposes. Um, one, escape, as you all have seen, and uh, also a special operation forces. Um, lockout chunk is a highly advanced piece of equipment we have to uh, deploy and receive divers and uh, uh, seals out to sea. Um, way we would do that is uh, the seals and divers would uh, man the lockout chunk 22 at a time and uh, we'd shut the hatch and uh, everything that could be done from the inside of the chunk could be done from the outside of the chunk over there by the diving supervisor. So the lockout chunk is, is, uh, is um, equipped with uh, MC circuits and cameras so uh, the diving supervisor can watch them and talk to them the entire time. Wow. So uh, the divers would, would enter the lockout chunk, we'd shut the hatch and uh, we'd slowly flood up the lockout chunk to a certain uh, to, to a level to, to a nice pressure and now uh, the diving supervisor, um, diving supervisor would give them a okay sign. Um, they could sit, they um, continue flooding up, the uh, flooding up until sea pressure and um, and the chunk pressure equalizes and the hatch will come open. And from there, the uh, the seals and divers can uh, escape, or can uh, go to the lockout chunk, uh, upper hatch, and um, perform missions as needed. Um, special operation forces, God's work, what have you. <laughs> and uh, from there. Um, the diver supervisor has cameras. He can watch them do everything. We, um, they'll have cameras topside watching everything. And then uh, once they're done with their work, they come. Um, all the divers enter, enter the lockout chunk. We drain it down, and um, they climb right out through the hatch here. Great. And, and how done. many can fit in at one time? Around well, 22. Yeah, wow. The, the, nor the normal setup would be a normal team would be about a 10-man team that would deploy. Exactly. But we can do a mass. We can do a mass uh, swimmer exodus of about 20. Uh, about 22. And this is the, the suit. That's that suit again that you see. Uh, yes, yeah, like you guys have seen, this is the uh, the Mark 10 size suit. The other purpose of the lockout chunk is escape. If we are a disabled, safe, a disabled submarine on the bottom of the ocean, um, they can use this uh, the lockout chunk to escape. Um, we can escape from 600 feet or less. And the way they do that is um, each personnel would be handed one of these, a uh, Mark 10 size suit. Um, inside this little vacuum case is this suit and a, uh, an inflatable raft. Right. Um, Personnel would uh, put a, don extra uh, extra warm clothing, shed all heavy weight, eat a bunch of food, drink a bunch of water, and don this uh, this suit. What this suit does, it, it provides you thermal protection from the uh, from the elements, and uh, it also gives you the ability to uh, pressurize your or pressurize your suit. So you get a little air dome above your head. So uh, two two personnel at a time would enter the lockout chunk, and uh, they plug into an air source right there. And what that does is uh, it inflates their suit to create a big bubble on their head. And uh, we start flooding up the lockout chunk. And uh, once again, with sea pressure and, tank and trunk pressure equalized, upper hatch springs open, and uh, you're gone from there. Yeah, it makes, makes them possibly buoyant. So uh, once they duck underneath the uh, combing there, uh, they're going up. Following the bubbles to the surface. You're going. Uh, you, you go to around uh, 624 feet a minute, or about 10 feet a second. So uh, you're cooking. Yeah, have you had a chance? Have you gone through uh, the, the new. Yeah, no, 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 sir. I was uh, a little too late for that.